The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. <laughs> All right, let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling problem with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 29. NASDAQ uh, off 11. S&P's down 3.5. Gold contract flat, 1303.20. We get silver flat also, $16.80. Light sweet crude down 11 cents, $65.85. Mike, it's flat everywhere. Might as well just be flat right across yeah, the board. it's Friday, right? Why not? We might totally. teeter into the weekend. Sure. Yeah. Notes and bonds, bottom line, 119.19, 10-year, 30-year, uh, down three ticks, 143.06. King dollar, king dollar's up to 274 ticks, 93.680. 650. I expect you're going to see another battle of the king dollar coming into the close out here today, folks, because the uh, king dollar is riling markets in a huge way. Um, and it's not so much the dollar index, but the correlation in between the U.S. dollar and the uh, real in Brazil, in Turkey, in Indonesia, uh, they're having some tough times out there. Uh, bottom line is that we'll see how this shakes out. Uh, the euro is at 117.63 to one U.S. dollar. The yen is at 109. To one U.S. dollar, you know, Apple uh, comes out uh, last night uh, says they're going to do 20% uh, less business with. Uh, I don't think they came out as a news story, right? Was that? I believe no. Did they come out as yeah, well? Because they, I was they, reading about the Nikkei report. Um, yeah, well, it, the report was that uh, Apple has given notice to their suppliers that they're going to, yes. at the end of the year, they're going to do 20% less okay. orders. Apple said uh, But warn. guess what? Yeah, I'm just it's, saying it's not an official Apple statement. It's just kind of a report story that, that on yeah. talks Apple between. Apple told supply chain yeah. is that prepare for 20% fewer components. Yeah. For iPhones, uh, compared to last year, the yeah. Nikkei reports citing ad, ad, unidentified... I'm just, I've never even heard of the Nikkei reports to put the... I just want to... You know what I mean? I mean, that's a, it's obviously a reliable source because Apple was trading down on those news, for yeah, sure. Yeah, and it just shakes it off, really. Oh, I, mean, I know. I heard your you update. Know, yeah. I mean, you know... Well, yeah. You're down three bucks, you know. And now, that be... nothing to put things... I mean, that's, that's a percent and a half, right? I mean, it's... That, that being said, uh, what we are going to see uh, out here, and this is with, it's subtle, but uh, it looks like uh, the queues are going to fail on price and volume on the daily and on the weekly. Uh, they've they've uh, come into the, their highs, and, you know, the bottom line, they, uh, if that's where the number would be 175.21. You know, we did 193 million the week of uh, March 16th, and thus far we're at 116. We'll probably do 35 million today, 40 million maybe. That gets you to 156 versus still 193. Um, you know, we'll see where the baby shakes out. Gold contract, uh, bottom line on Fridays, folks. Uh, we'll see where this baby's going to go. Uh, it's rejected the 1296 level out here this morning. We're at 1303. Um, some of the higher volume stocks out here, and this will be a low volume market out here today. We get summer trading happening. We got what? Advanced Micro is up 15 cents. You got uh, Bank of America down 22. Apple's one of the big ones. That's down three bucks. Tesla, man, they're squeezing. <laughs> they're squeezing. Look at that. They got the shot squeeze on Tesla in a huge way. So Tesla, I think it's, it was 30 percent yesterday. Yes. Still, still 30 percent shot <laughs> interest. Uh, in three days, well, let's see, let's just, four days, you're going from 286 to 320. Look at yesterday's action. Quite a bar, man. Yeah. In terms of the high of 330, opens at 316, high of 330, closes at 316. I was going to slide over. Oh, yeah. Within six pennies of where it opened at. Pretty intriguing. Yeah. Um, for sure. And did you see those stu news stories about um, the autonomous crash that it, it, it was actually accelerating before it had hit? So it's a shame somebody died in the accident. This is one of the, not the self driving vehicles, the right. assisted driving vehicles, right? right? Um, that in the seconds leading up to the crash, yeah. you know, it's 
It's designed to where it's following a car. Yes. Okay. And then somehow it loses that car, That's obviously, right. and then it accelerates, though. And that was the biggest thing that was like, whoa, what happened there? It accelerated right. from like 62 miles an hour to 71 miles an hour right before the accident, and then it didn't break. Right. So there was a glitch almost, it sounds. You can't have just glitches. Well, when you're talking so, about that it just hits the accelerator as you lose what to follow and goes right into... And what, what could have happened, right? So your car is assisted driving, right? I don't know. Okay, no. so my car is assisted yeah. driving. Different than Tesla. It's not a Tesla. Yeah, right. Just a bit, it's yeah. Not. So what happens with assisted driving in general, right, is that, you know, it's good. I, li I really like it. But what could have happened there, which I've seen it happen with my car, right? But Okay, so what happens is that your car locks onto the car in front of you. Right, if you have a cruise control on, which I always do when it, when it's on, yes. right? Let's say the cruise control is at 55, yes. right? It locks onto the car. The car in front of you is only going 45. Yeah, that gets down to 45. Sure. As soon as that car is gone, man, you're, you're going up to 55. Okay, so that can be an acceleration. Yeah. Another way that can happen, and this this I got in the middle of this, and this was like, because if you have an assisted car, make sure you understand that that's an assisted car. You better pay attention, man. No, and Tesla yeah. says, I believe you're supposed to have your hands on the wheels you, at all you, times. You absolutely so that do. was the other thing that and they wrote in there is that their hands were off the wheel for yeah. like 23 out of the 30 seconds prior to the crash. They were off the wheel for like the six seconds leading up to oh, yeah. it. So no, was, no. You're, you're supposed to say, my car beeps. But what has also happened is this, and this has happened with me with the truck before. You know, you get uh, you can get a big uh, jacked up truck. Sure. Well, what ends up happening, the there's eight cameras. And they won't pick it up. Sure. Right? Because there's and actually no vehicle. You're just seeing wheels with a high rise. Exactly. I got you. Sure, and the yeah. first time, now this only happened to me last week. This is the first time that this happened. Normally, what will end up happening is that if you're coming up to any car, whether you have it on or not, your brakes will go on. Okay. Right? My brakes didn't go on. Okay. You can't rely on it. No, right? I mean, you that's, can't. That, that's that's, the, that's no. the story. And that's, it, so one, and I read this a while back about Google when they were talking looking at the that the you know the types of ways you could have self driving vehicles right? yes. can you do the assisted driving can yeah. you do just completely autonomous and that's the reason why google had shifted to completely autonomous self driving vehicles because people if you tell them we have most of this but you have to watch it a little bit right. they never do right. and that was the biggest problem is they say it can't be halfway one way or the other right. because people just don't pay attention unfortunately and it's not a system that will ever work. And I, I pretty right. much agree with them. I mean, no, I, and, I, and evidence I, is pointing towards, I because inevitably agree. you you become lackadaisical, you yeah. become comfortable, you become content, right. and then you stop paying attention to the degree that you still need to. Even um, that horrible accident with the full self-driving vehicle, was that Google or was that Tesla? The one who was a self-driving, and the, they had the driver in the car that hit the bike, person carrying the bike across the street. I'm not sure. Okay, I that think was a big Tesla, one. Though. It, it was, it was a self-driving yeah. completely, right. and that was the one where it's not assisted, and they just put the driver in the vehicle. And remember, the driver had a record, all this stuff that came yes. out. Yeah. Right. We had talked about this. Right. Um, my point being that even that person who was a paid employee is supposed to be sitting there watching everything, and generally they were like playing wasn't. with their phone. Yeah. So right. no matter what, if you're like kind of relieved of a lot of duties but still has to do a few, you just never keep up because you right. you know and so it's it's going to be well, we're what, navigating that right now as to how to deal with that no listen i i, I agree because what what happens is that the i would say when i'm driving i never really depended on the driving part even though the driving part is pretty cool yes. especially on the expressways so what happens it seems that when you're going faster it can pick it up better or something okay keeps but you in your lanes right? it keeps you in your lanes yeah. really well and slow but down what i did depend on is the brakes now i'll never depend no, on them you can't depend yeah on no it, 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 me, every time no we way. leave you know i'll say to you you know let's be stay yeah. stay and put your hands stay attentive oh, right? I see, yeah. 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 yeah stay right there folks tommy and i are coming right back we get some friday summer trading out here we have the dow industrials right now down 25 nasdaq's off 14 s p's are down five come right back Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will 
will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 30. Nasdaq's off 18. S&P's are down 6.5. And, a half. and uh, let's go over to the Nadex platform. Well, first, let's go to uh, uh, Bitcoin. Okay. So we know we get the spreads happening. Uh, the spreads open up uh, Monday morning, 8 o'clock, uh, close on the weeklies uh, at uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Fridays. And uh, bottom line is, you, you know, you really haven't got that much movement this week. No, and, and in a couple of weeks. Look at this yeah. range. We haven't seen a range like this almost ever, man. I mean, you go back to May 23rd, that's when we trade down. You know, this, this bar is May 23rd. We trade down to 74.34 in that bar. From and, 8,100, yeah. And since yeah. then, it's right. been, you Sideways know, 200, point, 200 points, I want to say, dollars. Um, as we're sitting, you know, within about $80 of where we've been trading at there, for sure. So jumping over to Nadex. We'll pull up. So there's your. Bitcoin. Can you put that? Yeah. I don't mean to swap yeah. gears, but I, you're just showing me on Nadex the uh, oil. So sure. we, get, we get oil running, I think. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, let's jump back to it. So it is quite an acceleration since 8 a.m. this morning. We're up um, about 50 cents, and yeah. you know, pretty remarkable that we're, you know, Wednesday's number for oil such a surprise on the EIAs, right? AAs, right? They were looking for surprise me. We we got a lot of oil. They were yet. looking for a decline of two million barrels in the yeah. inventories. We got two million barrels surplus. The price traded from 65.35 down to like 64.35, and that's been all upwards since that's then. Top side once Can't again. hold it down even today. Yeah. You know we dip, and it seems like we've seen these dips over and over. I mean, look, this is where. Yeah. Uh, and there's your there's your oil number right there. We spike lower, and man, one hour. That's all the bears got, man. One hour, mm -hmm. and from there, I mean, pretty remarkable, yeah. right? Literally yeah. an hour, and uh, and that was it. Off to the races. Yeah. So jumping over to Bitcoin, it'd be interesting to see. Uh, 
if we do get some volatility. So I have the weeklies up here. And where do we start off in the weeklies? That's so the yeah. weeklies started off at, we're looking at... It's 7,500, right? It no, 8,700. 8,700, 8, okay. 8, uh, excuse me, 7,700. 7, That's 7, just 7,700, okay. yeah. It's uh, a $8,000 spread. Yeah. 4,000 on each side in the middle, which would be 8,700 in the middle. Uh, the monthlies starting at 7,600. Okay. okay. Yeah. Just to, so if anyone's trading them, and we're right at, you know, that basically the middle, we're within $30. So when you look at this, the bid offers right around it. I mean, you're basically yes. able to get in at market, which is nice. You can buy it, you can short it. Now, the minis are trading basically one one hundredth of a Bitcoin. Right. And the monthlies are trading one tenth of a Bitcoin. So what's nice is normally would say, all right, you got to wait. You know, they're going to close on Friday, right? Yeah, and they're going to open back up on Monday. They're not. But uh, right. that's not the case anymore, no. man. I mean, you yeah. know, it's nice that you have been... And these monthlies go until June 29th. Yes, which yeah. just happens and to be the so Friday. So it's a calendar month. It's right. the final Friday or final trading day, which just happens to be a Friday this right. month. That'll right. be Friday. Um, so it'll be interesting is you'll have the monthlies and you'll have the weeklies that week expiring at the same exact time. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty but cool. Little volatility, man. What's going on? What's a guy Paul and Henderson doing if he can't trade volatility in those Bitcoins? Oh, he's got plenty of those momentum stocks going, yeah, man. Right? <laughs> There's no doubt. Since we're talking about it, you see the hockey game, I, right? Yeah, congratulations to the Caps. Oh, that was beautiful. Talk about you know, uh, cool emotion from Ovechkin oh, and everything. Totally. You know, you really, that's, that's, that's what people love about sports, really, emotion. You know, it's, yeah. it's the greatest reality show in the world because it's... It's real, man. It's and all that work, all that sweat, all that. And he's so know. dynamic. Yeah, you know, and there's it's been so much devastation. You see it. Not devastation, but you know, it's like you fail every year. You don't make the playoffs. All that heartache, all that. And then, so once you finally get it, man, right. it's, it's Now he can retire. And quite a, quite a um, third period, man. I mean, what oh, a game, it was right? Great. I mean, they were, um, for people that didn't see it, so the Caps were up 3 1 in the series, yep. right? And they were in, where were they? Were they in Washington or Las Vegas? They were in Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Vegas yeah. last night, yeah. And, um, and Las Vegas had the lead with 10 minutes left in the third period. Right. And I'm saying, geez, if this goes 3-2, that'll be a series again. Um, and then the Caps scored to tie it, and then the Caps scored to take the lead you, in the span of three and, minutes, and and you, just you, like that. You know what's amazing? Um, that the announcers were saying, folks, that 37% of the crowd was from... Uh, Capitals. Okay, yeah. yeah, that's pretty impressive, particularly and, for Las Vegas. Oh, for that's, sure. I you think, know. Yeah, no, for sure. Right. Yeah. Hey, that's nothing, a, nothing like Vegas, Vegas weekend, right? Yeah, I mean, well, you know what that is? That's that's all our taxpayer money, folks. That's that's they make so much money in the D.C. Sure. area on contracts from the sure. government. It's like uh, they they breathe on that. Boston stuff. travels well too, though. Yeah, right? yeah. So well, we, you know, we especially Boston, Boston breeds with education and biotechs and financials, <laughs> I guess. Once you when you don't win for that long, the, you know, as in when yeah. the Red Sox were in the series for the first time in 2000 you know it's like oh, that's yeah. when it's it's craziness man yeah. um, but Ovechkin I mean seven times he's been the goal scoring leader for the season he uh, has yeah I mean amazing right three time wow. MVP rookie of the year when he came in when, when you say goal score for the, the whole league yeah for oh seven times he's won the goal scoring title that's wicked that is no what one, a goal score yeah, right I mean right. amazing um, did you see that one thing that he just turned around he didn't get a goal last night but you should see him they had him totally tied up folks right so the, the, the goal's in front of him, but the, the guy was uh, on his right-hand side. He flips around the other side and just, I mean, he, he gets missed, a shot off. Yeah, yeah. he gets a, and a fast shot. And, I mean, it well. missed the net, you know, by a foot. But it was just, it was a phenomenal play, man. It was yeah. like, it was just the, the hunger. The hunger is amazing. I was almost thinking last night that uh, from an NHL pro hockey standpoint, it almost worked out almost as well as could be because it, Vegas provided so much joy yeah. and excitement. Totally. in general for the whole country oh, totally. because it's this new team right. you can kind of catch on and then I think it was almost the perfect ending because everyone loves Ovechkin if you love hockey right. you want to see him win you do and I, you kind of almost don't want to see the expansion team come in and get that lucky yeah. off the bat but props to them any any fan in Vegas I mean Andy Hecht out there he loves them you know he's sure. been to games but they're going to have some more shots, man. They're a young team, too. They'll be okay. They have some young stars. Oh, yeah. And, and the fact yeah. that they have such a fan base right off the bat now, it's huge. they're set, right? Yeah. yeah. And, you know, what I suspect is going to happen, too, is that we're all going to be watching 
at the beginning of the season next year more. Right. And <laughs> you know, just just because this, I mean, every Stanley Cup's great, but this one seemed like even better. And I, I agree. And that's what yeah. I'm saying right now. It worked right. out so well for the NHL right. in general, where right. it's just kind of that perfect euphoria of yeah. excitement, you know, great finish. Ovechkin's emotions now, do, at the do, end of that. Uh, do all the players do all the players grow beards <laughs> at that? They don't like to shave during the playoffs. That's I what see. they do. So okay. I mean, a lot of hockey players have beards anyway, yeah. right? But uh, that's the and I don't know. I don't think it applies to everybody. But that's the deal. I think they don't right. shave during the playoffs. Okay. And the hockey playoffs are a long time, yeah, man. That's are. what happens. So by the time you get to the Stanley Cup. Everyone's got beards if you're doing it, man. No yeah. matter what kind of facial hair you can grow. Right. Um, I mean, the playoffs take like two months. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah. Wild, man. Yeah. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Let's go uh, take a look at the. Uh, okay. So silver. S. Uh, the silver market is held up, folks. Uh, bottom line, gold. Hey, we need a bid on gold, man. Why? They keep selling it down. Um, silver. Different animal. I mean, it's it's you know it's it's above the, like the small consolidation that was we've been in, and you can see we we popped above it. You know, with some good volume. You know, we did 124,000 contracts yesterday, got up to uh, 1693. Yeah. Um, if you take, let me just see. It's the most that. contracts we've done on this active contract. It, it is. Yeah. And you know, uh, right now you you just uh, you jumped over the 50, you jumped over the 100, you're okay. pushing into the 200. It's interesting that yeah we like. Tapped right up to that. We did. Yeah, the and that's, 200. that's that's you know that's a big number. There's yep. no doubt. Um, the SLV. Let's bring. So, this is the, of course, the ETF for it. <laughs> Look at that. Right, right up to the 200. Yep. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have uh, the Dow Industrials are right now trading. Uh, there you go, trading up two. Nasdaq's down 15. S and P's are up four and a half. Down four and a half. Coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. 
Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is down 17. NASDAQ is off 23. S&Ps are off 6. And, uh, yeah, there's, uh, you know, Larry was talking about it earlier. It's uh, sad. Uh, you got uh, Charles, uh, no. Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain. Yeah. He commits suicide. Kate Spade commits suicide. It's like, man. It's a sad deal. You know, you got people that you think are really successful, but yet they, always... they have something bothering them. That's yeah. for sure. You know, everyone has their own struggles, man. And you always, when you're in your own head, think your own struggles are like the struggles beyond anything. But everyone's dealing with their own struggles. So so take some solace in that. You know what I mean? Where yeah. you're not on your own, man. Everyone is fighting a fight. Even though it looks good on the outside, we all have our battles, right? And, and we're all fighting them. So so get, get don't give up on that. Exactly. Yeah. Get your feet in the sand. Right. No. Do, do, uh, you know, at, when, you know, Bourdain, uh, just because... I don't know Kate Spade. I know her products, okay? But Bourdain, we always see on TV, and it's no, like, it's, wow, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got I, to know him a lot better through yeah, that, for right, sure. Right, right. And I, I, I had always wondered that, you know, from going from place to place to place, though, that's really tough, you know, yeah. in general. No, you know it is. I mean? And I don't, you know, who knows what plays into the... Oh, yeah. Uh, no, know, it's, I, I, it's, it's He might have loved that part of it, and actually, you know, I mean, you don't know in terms of no. what the struggle is based on, man. Because he was, he was in France filming. I mean, that's what he was doing. Yeah. That's part of it, you know, as it was happening. Which is, yeah. Bad scene. Uh, let's go to, uh, oh, we got our Here man. We go. What's going on, brother? We got Paul from What's Henderson, happening? Nevada. Everyone, happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday, Friday, man. man. Yeah, let's make it a good one. Uh, those Vegas nights, uh, it's a bummer. Yeah, yeah, it's a bummer for you. We, we feel we feel for you. We feel for you and Andy. Quite a run, man. But we're happy for the Capitals. Quite a run yeah. and uh, quite, quite a season. And you go from there, man. Onward and upward. See now, you know, now hey Paul, have a bright future. you That's can get ready. You can get ready for next year. You can basically, you know, get ready for the new hockey season. So That's right, you, man. You, you, we know that you just start getting hooked on it this year. You you don't love it. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. So hey, let me ask you this: What's the rules about uh, them fighting and stuff like that? <laughs> there, there, you, there is no rules. That this is what the difference is. So when you when you're watching it, and this is always. Uh, to you at, for the five minute fighting penalty, you really got to go at it. Okay, so a lot of times you'll see that the grabbing and all this, if if the whistle's already blown and you're not and, and it's not in play, most times you're not even going to get a penalty unless they really start going at Some it. Jabber, yeah. And that's the hardest thing, and because I, I understand what you're saying, like even last night. Did you see last night in the game when they were all brawling? Sure. They decided to give no one a penalty because sure. it was after the whistle was blown. Yeah, it's just right? chippy, chippy, chippy. A exactly. And they let it go. You know, so what? You know, there's a lot more fighting in the regular season because players don't care about getting five-minute matching penalties. You go yeah. in the box, but when it comes to playoffs. All they care about is winning, and no team wants to. And what will happen, Paul, is that you'll have one team's big bruiser yeah. that tries to go get the other team's star player right. and get a fight. And so that's where they try and avoid it as much, um, just because you, 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 five minutes is too valuable to lose any Oh, they want to take them out, man. Right, you, know, you know, that's the battle. You try and get a worse player where some team gains an advantage for the five-minute matching penalties. So that's why it happens a lot less in the playoffs. But, man, it still happens. How about that Tampa series? They were Tampa, the Game 7 versus Washington, yeah. which I was that. There were fights, which never happens in a Game 7, but that's how chippy the playoffs when You know, it's just that's how yeah. tempers flare, man. Um, can, you, can you imagine the... the, the Paul, is that 
how big these guys are. And then you're on skates huge. and they're banging it out. Yeah. It's like, oh my God. It's when like, you got the likes. I mean, Boston, oh. you got. I, uh, yeah. You know, I grew up practicing uh, martial arts. Yeah. I really resonated with boxing. And I can never imagine throwing blows on ice skates. That is just crazy. That That's a really rough sport. Those guys are tough as nails. Well, we both played hockey, so we've done that, right? But I can't imagine it now because even when I played. It, it, People weren't as big as they are and now. And you're not it's allowed not, to fight. It's not know, even maybe close. You were in well, years. we were allowed to fight. We well, didn't allowed. You we get didn't kicked even out have, of the game. We didn't even have. No, yeah. we didn't. We didn't even have face mask. Okay. Yeah. All right. You fought. And you didn't even get a penalty. That's that's. No, the but we didn't get kicked out of the game. It was too. It, yeah. It wasn't. It was. That's that's how it was. Do you know okay. what I mean? That's not how it is in the last like 40 years, though, Paul. <laughs> yeah, right. well. You're not allowed to fight well, anywhere up until the pros. That's you know what I mean. I mean that's it's big, big problems. I mean even in college hockey, you fight, man. You're gone for a game, two games, three games. It's not yeah. it's not an acceptable part of uh, that, that wasn't of like youth that, hockey man. in any yeah. capacity. But it's part of the NHL. That's for sure, oh, man. I, I could I could tell Tom, you, you're a tough guy, man. You come from that. Uh, you got a tough. You know that tough cloth they call it or whatnot, man. That's, uh... Yeah, well, well it, when we were kids, that was just normal. That 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 yeah. was a normal deal. Do you know what I mean? But it, it, what what is going to probably happen in the future, which is kind of a bummer, <laughs> is that you know we have the concussions in uh, football. It's going to be a matter of time. And Absolutely. Tommy and I have talked about this. That you know. The, the market's going to look at it and says, hey, man, did they really let these guys slug it out in the middle of the, in the rank? The NHL needs something like the NFL because yeah. too many guys get clocked and not even talking about fighting, yeah. right? They go off the ice and they come right back on. And it's the same thing that used to happen with football. Yeah. And you know there's concussions out there and there's already been players with the CTE deal. Um, so they they need some kind of protocols in there just because those hits, man, and, and the, you know they're yeah. they're intense. Yeah. Um, and then you add yeah. fighting on top of it. That's a whole other story. Whereas the liability Ooh. issue, unfortunately, right. I think it's going to take somebody really getting hurt during a fight where their helmet comes off, they get cold clock, they fall on the ice, yeah. and then they say, "Hold on, how are we letting people fight?" You know, right. on, Not on ice. I for mean, sure. yeah, for sure. Right. But. Yeah, I think statistically football, I might be incorrect about this, is the, you know, the most dangerous sport. They get the most head injuries, and that's including MMA and the boxing. So I believe it. I mean, yeah, and that has to do with, right, they kept, the helmets kept getting better and better, and everyone keeps, they head bottom. Those guys just get bigger and bigger. Right. I mean, yeah, there's, there's are. stories I read in terms of the average size of the, the football player in the NFL, yeah. and it's you know, exponentially gone up I know. in terms of rules because the NFL's almost geared rules a little bit where for like big NFL players, you know, big linemen now, the average lineman is like 300 plus pounds. You know, it didn't used to be Some that. Some of those guys, you could hit with a board. I don't think they'd move. Right, right, totally. <laughs> they could hit with a board every single day. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. I mean, it, yeah. it, it's like, oh my but God. But what does happen, hockey is a faster sport. Yeah. So that's where when you do, you don't get as many of the hits, Paul, and that's probably why it's bad. But still, there's some guys where you get concussions, man, it's because how fast they're going. Especially into the boards. That's yeah, what, yeah right. if you just get blindsided in the middle of the ice, you know, where you're just not seeing somebody. Um, yeah. We were seeing the poor goalie last night. His, his own, you know, when one, I one, I was jumping around one, a little bit, one you know? player had, had, it was, the whistle had already blown. It was his own player. He just lost his blade. He just okay. lost the edge. Yep. Goes into his own goalie. And what ended up happening is that that could have been a problem because he was already relaxed. Sure. And he, his back was to him. You know what I mean? So no. it's, it's, yeah. it's a great well, game. I'm a fan now, that's for sure. I'll be watching uh, next year. But um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about these. The cryptos, I heard you speaking a little bit about Bitcoin and pretty much no volatility in the market right now. Yeah. Uh, so some of the guys that uh, that got involved um, that I know, they've already thrown in the towel. They, they no more hodl for them. They said, I'm out. Okay. You know, they, they threw in the towel. But um, well, this is good feedback. Stay right there. I want to hear this. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we're getting close to a bottom. It's too team. Yeah, we, they exactly. need some action. They're in that market for volatility. Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, down 23, NASDAQ off 28, S&P's down 6.5. We'll come right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? 
Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with my man Paul from Henderson, Nevada. We are talking cryptos. So, so talk to us. So, you get some crypto. Yeah. So a lot of the um, a lot of the guys that I know that uh, didn't really understand, you know, how to trade, they yeah. just got you know caught up in the emotion of everything and jumped in. Sure. Um, they've thrown in the towel already. The the guys that I know that are real traders that make some pretty good money trading cryptos. Um, they're waiting for two things going on right now. Okay. One is the regulations with the SEC and Coinbase. So there's some uncertainty there about what's going to be going on with that. Okay. And number two, the IPO, um, the blockchain of EOS. So it was supposed to launch June 1st. It's a $15 billion, you know, uh, blockchain launch. And... There's some bugs in the system. So everyone that's holding, myself included, EOS tokens, right now you're locked out of your, your coin. So really? I can't do anything is, with the tokens. They're just they're stuck. They're locked. I can't is, transfer them, do anything with them. Is this going to be a, a, a U.S. IPO, Paul? I think it's an ICO, right? No. But, oh, I thought, I thought... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. The ICO. Uh, the, I, Bless you. Uh, Thank you. Well, yeah. I believe that uh, I don't know exactly where it's being launched from, but the more I look into this, their EOS is worldwide. I mean, there's there's parts of this all over the world. There's 
a lot of people involved in this uh, ICO, and um, yeah. a lot of people are getting really nervous because if you have a couple thousand EOS tokens in your wallet and you're literally locked out of them, you can't send it nowhere, you can't receive any new ones. And how much did you pay for them? Well, I started buying mine at uh, my average is about five bucks. It's trading at 14 right now. It went as high as 25 a couple weeks ago. But um, it's making me a little nervous as well. So the it, EOS community is saying hang tight, but, you know, so, what else so are they going to say? When you say that it's trading at 14, you still only can buy them. You can't cash out, right? Can't cash out. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's about as bizarre as you can get. This EOS, and we'll have to dig into it, you know, well, because John Oliver did a story on this. I'm not sure. Did you see that one, um, Paul? John Oliver, there's been a lot of talk about this EOS one. I mean, they raised $4 billion, is that right, Paul, in their ICO? And they basically haven't even, like, launched yet? I thought it was closer to $15 billion. Um, it could be. That's, I was trying to pull up articles. It's a staggering number, whatever it is. Um, yeah. They yeah. must have had that going right when Bitcoin was up at 20,000, 15,000, So the token right? sale started June of 2017. Okay. Um, it's an Ethereum-based ERC-20 token. Okay. Yeah. So what happened um, on June 1st, there's some people that totally lost all their tokens because uh, if you did not register with EOS um, before June 2nd, now those ERC-20 tokens, which is an Ethereum blockchain, those tokens are, they're toast. They're, they're, they're worthless. That's wild. So now that you, you have to register with EOS, so these tokens will be on the EOS blockchain. And I have my tokens registered, but now they're just sitting there. I can't do anything with them. Yeah, so I keep seeing the number $4 billion here. Maybe it's a $15 billion valuation and that they've actually <laughs> literally sold, though, $4 billion worth of them. Now, do, do, do people know where this company's located by any chance i'm sure you know i don't know the answer to that i don't know um what i should have done though is when this thing a couple weeks ago i had called in and it was going nuts around 11 bucks and uh i should have sold up here at 20 it hit 23 dollars i believe yeah 2303 was the high um now if you sold could you get money back or you still can't get money if you would have sold then, you could get money back. So on Kraken, there's a, uh, a EOS USD pair. So you okay. Could get, you could get your US dollars, not USD tether, straight US dollars, and um, and cash them out. But right now, so a lot of people in in the industry, my point being is they're just kind of nervous. What's going to go on with the SEC? Yeah, they should be nervous. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, so John Oliver did uh, a story on this. Paul and if it was around March and that's where I hadn't heard much about it and he kind of was just talking about ICOs in general yeah. uh, which is great to talk about in terms yeah. of being wary but he couldn't help but talk a lot about the EOS one when they're raising four billion dollars and they kind of really don't have a product yet um, as in as Paul's talking about you know they're just now gonna launch it and they're obviously still dealing with some problems uh, I encourage you to go check it out though because I can't even recall some of the specifics right now but he had some great insight into this and so just Google John Oliver EOS and, okay. um, and I was just Googling it myself and they have you know there's replies on there but you'll be able to find his his video he did it's about 10-15 minutes and I encourage anyone out there because it's it was a good clip about what's going on about the type of money you can raise almost with just and I don't want to call it a story because they they have some big players behind this as well but it's kind of just a story at this right. point, and four billion dollars yeah. to take in, when the likes of you know, I mean, and because I guess one of the when they were coming out with all of these tokens, right? Everyone saw Bitcoin at fifteen, twenty thousand. If you can buy something at three bucks, they said, hey, Bitcoin was three bucks too, right? Right. I mean, that's 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 the push, right? Yeah. So that's the push, and it, what they uh, what EOS is claiming they're going to be able to do is pretty amazing because they're going to compete directly with Ethereum. They're going to have all the DApps being built on top of EOS, um, as well as it being a cryptocurrency with the smart contract. It's supposed to be an enhanced version of Ethereum. They call it Ethereum on steroids. That's the um, EOS, yeah. Yeah, so 
So we'll see. But if it does launch and there's a bug in it and it crashes or something like that, I mean, this token is going to get smoked. Right. That's and that's, sure. I mean, that's just, you know, part of the, I guess I'll slide it over here. And these are just random Googles I'm doing. And this one is just, but, you know, although still under development, EOS has become one of the most talked about blockchain services in the crypto sphere. Since announced in May, investors excited by potentially more flexible, faster blockchain network upon which the new application can be built. Um, helping them raise 700 million initially with the value at 3.8 billion, but this is in March, and now I think that they've come to where they've raised about 4 billion. Uh, but you can see how it's like we're going to be faster, we're going to be better, we're going to be the best, we're going to do it all. They get they get uh, the Elon Musk deal, and then they have <laughs> they have uh, some guy out here with Brock Pierce, who I don't know who that is. Um, but I guess Oliver talked about him within his piece, and then already that he's had some shady pasts in terms of bankruptcy somewhere along the way, whatever it is, but either way, that they, they disassociated immediately after that story. So it's like, okay, so some things are coming to light that people don't know, or what's really going on there? Anyway, keep keep your guard up, because uh, nothing's reality till it comes to be, man, and when you're talking about that kind of money, man. They have, um, so Brock Pierce, he, um, he's been involved very, in the beginning stages of Bitcoin and okay. Ethereum. Okay. Um, and uh, but Dan Laramir, I believe I'm uh, Laramir is how you pronounce his last name. He's the one that um, has built some of the biggest uh, DApps out there. So he built Steemit, okay. and two other DApps, and those two guys are behind EOS. So what happens? Yeah, and like, there's big players, and so that's why they've gained the credibility. But it's still kind of in the flux period of flux. Okay, brother. Oh, wait, Thanks, Paul. Nervous, but have a good weekend. Gentlemen. Have a great man. weekend, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We get the down on 15. Nasdaq's off 27. SPs are off five and a half. Come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade C H A U or C H A D. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Thicker Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon.
See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or swim. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up six. NASDAQ uh, down 22. S&P's off three and a half. Um, it's always great talking with Paul, really yeah. getting to understand that, uh, that crypto world. No, right. It's such a different world, man. Yeah. You know, it really is. And you can see how if you become acclimated to the environment that Bitcoin was in for so long, I mean, what is going on in the last two to three weeks, right? It yeah. won't even move 50 or $100. Right. I mean, you... You know, there's there's a lot of um, this isn't like trading on TD Ameritrade or Nadex where you have low commissions, you have very tight markets. You need some volatility to right. be profitable. You know, because yes. you're paying higher commissions for trading. Right. You know, call them commissions, fees, yep. all above the board. Right. You're paying a much higher bid offer spread within it. Be worried that it, it, the coin's going to get stolen. That's it. There's a lot of risks, right, right, where you can't just be making half a percent, 1%, 2%, right. because there's a lot of inherent risks. There's a lot more cost. There's a lot more um, unknown risks, like you're talking about, where where is that money being stored? You're, 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 you know, you're harnessing that risk. <coughs> Excuse me. So it better be for the reward. And if Bitcoin's just hanging between 74 to 76, not, not too much to be happening. No. Right. But... We'll see what happens. Yeah. Because it's also been a tame time in terms of there haven't been any big hacks, right? There haven't been any huge regulation crackdowns. You know, South Korea hasn't come out and done anything in terms of making right. it illegal. There, there had been a steady stream of news for a long time. And over the last two weeks at least, let alone even, yeah, since, you know, we go back all the way to, geez, um, that chart's just crazy. In terms of, so December 18th, CME futures come online. 19,511. It's, you know, some things, they seem too easy to be true, but, you know, how many people were saying, it's the first opportunity to be able the to shot. short it. And, and they and look, shorted it. And look what the chart did. They right? sold it, baby. Totally. They sold it down. Stay right there, folks. We've got our swim lessons coming up next. we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, um, Dave, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself, folks. Uh, bottom line, you get a flat market out here. Be safe if you're driving uh, over the weekend. That's Thanks, right. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.